all season, eh? Yeah, he hates it. Bit of a character there, Eddie Jones. So we're about to get underway. I'll be your play-by-play -play commentator as well as your cameraman. And my ball says, let's get this one going. No one else was. Kicked off down towards the 22. And Pakaranga have it early. Still on the E. Oh, sorry. No, it is Eden. Thank you very much. Fraser. They're just outside the 22 now. They'll, now they've come out to our left. It's gone back a bit. Having to go back and clean out. Gets out of one. Still inside the 22 at the moment. Well, the professional but, um, which one's the Black Panthers? <laughs> Panthers are wearing the green and orange. Yes. As they fire it inside the Panthers, lizards in there, black and yellow, and the bumblebee colours. They'll spin to the right once more. A couple of grass tackles coming in, but um, been grounded. Now it comes to the right. Making, yeah, it's making some good metres up here at the moment. They're out to the number eight. Shrugs off one. That might make the highlights package. Good wacky do coming in. Now they spin to the left once more. And there's a knock on coming in. But uh, Fraser, some good passages of play from uh, the Panthers at the moment. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, nice and direct. A few little darts. Um, yeah. Still early in the game, but, you know, looking hopeful. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, and the other semi final is. The Ponsonby Hearn Bay Hustlers taking on Grammar Tech Old Boys. Last week, those two teams played each other. It was a game we live streamed, and um, it was a one point win for the Old Boys. Managed to sneak in to the fourth position. It's the first scrum of the day. Nice the field. Tend to find in the 85 sprays of that um, not too much weight domination <laughs> in, in the packs because um, you are limited by weight. Play to look out for on the Eden Lizard side is the number 15 of Brooke Campbell, man who grew up in Natia. Good afternoon to Butch and Marie if you're watching. Marie is my second cousin, which makes Brooke my third. <laughs> <laughs> try not to be, mate. I try not to be. Good old scrum reset. You can't have a game of rugby these days without a scrum reset. See, that's quite unique. Um, Halfback from the Panthers coming out. There's actually no one defending the uh, end lizards to make a break. So keep that in mind. <laughs> The um, Lizards had to warm up in their jackets today because the manager forgot the uh, team bag, the jerseys. <laughs> Scrum is steady now for the Lizards. They go to our right and oh, it's a knock on. And Fraser, I think that was more of a case of looking at uh, what was coming rather than the basics. Yes, I think he got a bit, um, got a bit of a yips, as we say. In, uh, uh, but <laughs> Wouldn't know what you're talking about, Fraser. Oh, I always claim my catches and <laughs> You've had the fortune or the unfortunate of playing with me before. I, I didn't drop oh, no, a game in that no, one. It was, it was a fortune. <laughs> you see the fortune, right. yep. Brilliant. I even said to the captain, she, the captain told me I was going to get an over it, I said no it won't. <laughs> Got the last wicket in the uh, fourth ball. Was not happy that day. <laughs> Time off for an injury. You can see just to the left of the screen there. Is that the first number? Is that Henry? Number 13. I think it might be one of the um, centres. We are end on here at um, Bell Park in Pakaranga. Just uh, there's no power sideline. The laptop needs power. Last time I was here, I was fortunate enough to call um, the premier match against Ponsonby on Ponsonby's live stream. Um, but his power was sufficient. Time back on, Michael Hall says. Been refereeing for six years. <laughs> What's the wind like there, Fraser? There doesn't seem to be too much. 
No, not too much breeze, eh? I think it's a bit of a um, lift right, but... I was going to say top no. lift to the screen. Yeah. It's not too much to... Alright, the Panthers trying to capitalise on an early mistake from the Lizards. They come open side now, through the number 10. Good cutout pass. Running ball through the... Trying to break the line and can't. And he's just knocked it on, I think. No, there's a penalty to the Lizards. Not 100% sure there, um, Fraser. I'm still trying to get used to this camera. <laughs> The camera work's not my finest today, unfortunately. The, the uh, camera we're using is about $4,000 more than um, I'm, I'm used to, so no big thanks to the person who's come on board and helped me out there. Um, no, no, it, it was confidence. As it's over the back. But with the Panthers though, Still, they go to the open. They come open once more. Finger get through the backs. Out to the wing now. Number 14 for the right winger for the Panthers. Hennessy it is. There's a couple of Hennessy's on the team. The other one on the bench. As now they come to the right once more to the blind. Makes a break to the number 15. And he's going to be in for the first try of the game. And the Panthers, 5-0, kick to come. Yeah. Just, just not a cricket. Yeah, it's still I'm still stuck at cricket. cricket. Yeah. Just been going over and over all around the ashes. <laughs> what a series that was, mate. Oh. Tell, tell you what, I chose the right night not to sleep. My partner's not convinced. My partner's not convinced. Uh, the cricket was the reason for me not sleeping, sleeping, but it was great to see Stuart Broad cleaning up. You get to see on the replay here. There's only one camera, folks. We're waiting for the uh, conversion. Comes in, strikes it, and it's away to the right. Unsuccessful, so the score remains 5-0. Uh, You're not bad, is it? Um, Tuck down or is it eat, eat in there? Have a couple of kickers. I, I did make a note there. It's uh, Eden, I think they've got, yeah, two kickers. <laughs> one inside 40 and one outside 40. Outside 40, a long Tell you what, I saw both teams kicking uh, a goal in warm ups and they went too bad. It's the restart from the Lizards. And makes a bit of a break here from the Pakaranga. Just 12 metres inside their half, they come to the left, runs back into traffic. Come to the first five in the pocket, now to the 12. Good. Good defence coming in. Still with Pakaranga though. Drag towards the touchline. Still in field though. They've lost about 10 metres. Lizards with ball. Five metres outside the Pakaranga 22. They swing to their left. Just making a metre or two at the moment. Still with ball in hand. That's the main thing. Doesn't matter what grade or age you are, ball in hand's the main thing. You can't score a try without a good tackle. Great wacky do coming in. And they're going to concede a penalty though. Off their feet is the call. Fraser, uh, points on opportunity maybe here? Um, yeah, it looks like they're going to take it. Um, there's no reason not to. You know, it's still early on in the game. Well, it's semi-final. Yeah. If, if you lose, there's no next week. It's a cliche, no good cliche, but um, <coughs> it's one that rings true in most sports. Still only, yeah, still only five nil, so yeah, I think take it, um, take it through. Yeah. Definitely this one. Looks like a spark with the kick. Good, good to have your company, folks. Wherever you are watching, 
Bevan Jenkinson and Fraser Ward of Brevs Broadcasting. Let us know in the comments. Uh, I'll get round to them after the game, if not half time. Shot at goal for three here. It's probably 39 on the angle. And it is successful, 5 3. Sounds as though. Um, <laughs> Almost back to zero. Yeah. It sounds as though we uh, we are able to be heard. I've had a message come in about something guys said. Oh, okay, what was that? Uh, I won't repeat it. <laughs> As the restart pretty much down the middle. And kick has returned. And oh, it's a knock on there from Pakaranga. It's quite a lot, isn't it? Yeah, I said to you earlier on, Fraser, and um, you know, if I was a bit more onto it, I would have um, touched on it. The scrab is pretty hard. Yes. Well, it's soft, but the bounce is hard. Yes. So you've got to watch for it. And um, the best thing is, and um, it's easy enough said when you're not playing. Um, I played a game a couple of weeks ago and had it go wrong. Don't never let an oval ball bounce. <laughs> never let an oval ball bounce. Why is that? It's just too unpredictable. Definitely, I've seen it do odd things. It's good scrum here from the Panthers, but Lizards hold on to it. They come out to the right. Crash ball in the middle there. They get it a good offload though. Oh, oh, good shrug off. One, two players. Ball inside. So the Panthers with it now. Box kick coming in. It's a bit of a grubber, it's ugly again. And it goes into touch. <laughs> These cheap seats are horrible here at Pickett. I mean, at Del Park, I tell you. The cheap seats, Fraser. Oh no, it was, it was, it was, it was well said. As a kick here from Lizards after they claim the line out. One there by the Panthers. Fires in field. Out of one tackle, brought down in a second. Panthers having to commit a couple of players to the ruck though. One off runner. Nice pass on the tackle from the ground. There for the captain Taylor. There for the number three. Tackle just outside the 22. The fire infield. Good tackle in the midfield, but still outside the 22 of Eden Lizards. Now at, to the right hand wing for Hennessy. He's had a couple of good ones and a bad one. Halfback just asking some players to come in. There for the number five wearing some headgear. Now they go open once more. There was a few numbers out to the left of the Panthers. That's the way they go. And oh, good wacky do coming in. If it is your first time watching and wondering what a wacky do is, it's a good hit, Fraser. As they go blind, Panthers. Oh, it's, it's another wacky do. And it's a head high as well. I had someone say to me, I need to come up with um, my own version of Justin Marshall's bumper and was suggested to Wacky Do. <laughs> they cut fine touch just a metre inside the 22 at the moment. It's a line-out chance here. Line-outs have been one apiece on their own throw. Haven't been too bad. They go to the middle. And the commentator's curse in fact there. But uh, Panthers have won it. They go to the open. They've got some numbers to run. 
there with the centre. He's looking for an inside pass. And I'm surprised he didn't give that, Fraser. Yeah. And I'll love you, but I don't just like you. I haven't done anything wrong, but I'm just telling you. <laughs> One there by the lizards, they'll kick it downfield. And we're in a bit of um, rebuilding phases for both teams at the moment, Fraser. Yes, yes. So I don't have much to add on there, but. Um, <laughs> No, I'm just enjoying the game. Both teams have, no, both teams have actually had quite a lot of technical chances. Um, uh, Black Panthers, uh, not just the forwards, but backs are both looking extremely aggressive. It's typical 85's rugby. I've covered a few. Panthers have won the line out fine this time. Miss out passes. Lizard's just waiting on that player. Arfak goes the other way this time. Some heavy contact coming in. As the fullback now running it through, gets out of one tackle, passes it in field. Now goes to the open. And the second try is going the way of the Lizards. And it's the Panthers, sorry, not the Lizards. It's 10-3, kick to come. So I'm just going to see if I can shift this camera. <laughs> so I can try and see it. No, 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 I didn't say not to. I just said, just keep it clean. <laughs> Conversion is from wide out. <laughs> Conversion from wide out this time. None from one at the moment. About seven metres in from touch. And it's off the, it's going to kiss the right hand uprights. So score remains 10 0. A 10 3, sorry. <laughs> what what do lizards need to do here, Fraser, to get them uh, back? Because at the moment it's just going the Panthers way. They really need to shut down that uh, another thing they agree with. Um, it doesn't look like they're really spreading out that well um, on the outside of the backs because they're getting overloaded. It's the restart, well claimed there by a Panthers player. I think both teams have been guilty of that though. As I get out of two. Runs it back into traffic. This is the number 10 for Panthers. And Lizards come trying to claim a penalty, but uh, they concede it instead. So a penalty 10 metres inside their own half at the moment. I don't think this kick's going to go out though. No, it's claimed there by the Lizards. And they're running it midway 22 10 metre line, still inside their half. So come to the open now. Both teams going to crash ball with run off runners. So Lizards half back having to get the ball out. He does. Kicks it downfield. Does the player in the pocket and a bit of a collision there between the players? Loose ball. I think it was the uh, case of almost of the yours, isn't it? 
Takaranga having to go on the back foot at the moment. They're 12 metres inside their half. There for the number four. 12. Fires it out to the eight. Now there with the winger. The left hand winger and they'll be bundled into touch. There's some really good tackles being made. Yeah, heavy tackles as well. So Lizard to the line out, a metre inside their half. Number eight is down for the Panthers. Yeah, we had a couple of um, injury knocks so far, injury stoppages. Is this also 80 or is this literally just weight? No, it's 85. You've got, um, actually the person that dropped the camera off to me this morning is the son of um, one of his teammates. <laughs> As, you know, as a father and son, you, you have guys in their 40s and 50s, you know, as long as they can take the knocks. Um, you have young players as well. It, it is great for all. I've been brilliant in the line out. <laughs> yeah, run here for the Panthers in midfield. Still looks like he's a bit of an overlap on the right hand side. Yeah, they seem to have numbers at times. Oh, good tackle coming in. Still standing though. Gets out of two. They go blind. Some couple of shirt drags coming in from the lizards. So they come open now. Eleven metres inside their own half. Still the Panthers. There with the tight head prop. Now with one of the locks. Hooker has it. Now to the other lock, the number four, he's got numbers! And is it stripping the tackle? So the Lizards have it! Good tackle coming in! Still with the Lizards though. Skirting with the sideline. And... Flag is out. Great passage of play there, Fraser Ward. Those sides. But the number four from Pakaranga. Um, why did he not pass it? And another injury stopper to you, Fraser. Might be for their number 14. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's um. You don't seem to be doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice point out. I'll tell, I, I tell you what. Does he get paid? I've been up. I'll pay him double. I'll pay him double if he does do work. Exactly. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be a part of it. I'm actually used, uh, to be honest, sir, I'm very used to having to do everything by myself. Commentary, camera, live stream, score. Yeah, yeah. Else, Game is live now. <laughs> there with the first five now. So, uh, good wrap around from the Panthers. Now the number 11 has legs. Chip over the top. And. It is a time off. It was a good little nudge that came through. But, um, yeah, I mean, there was a bit of a call of running in, into his line, but I think it was a 50 50 call. Fraser, how did you see it? <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done it, but, you know, it serves him well. Number 15 is quite a decent moment. That is a lizard ball, so... Yeah, defensive line out on their own. Why not here? And they'll go to the mall, try and make some metres outside their own line. As the box kick comes in, and it wasn't the most beautiful looking box kick, but it was one. Yeah. Thank you.
How you find the game so far, Ben? I mean, it's a pretty decent under 85s game. It's, it's a typical 85s, good running rugby, some skills on show. It's the Panthers have it. They're eight metres inside their opposition's half. Halfback looks one way, goes the other. Lizard's trying to hold him up in the tackle, but he gets to ground. They've come open. Dummies and goes. Sells one dummy, but uh, doesn't get the second. Come to the right, the very flat. Pass is coming in. As he strains it up to get out of one tackle. They're about 10 metres out from the line now. They come to the right. That's where they go again. They're with the number four this time. One off runners once more. And that's where they're staying. They're staying with the Fords and taking some good metres at the moment, the Panthers. Maybe time for the use of the backs, but no. They've got about three or four players to the right. Now they go left and keep up with small numbers. In front of the horns. Shimmies on the scoosy step and off to the number 11. But some good tackling from the Lizards coming in. And that tackle had to be made, Fraser. It did. It was a brilliant tackle. But still, they got to, you know, they got to, they got to get the uh, light out and also got to slide out. So. <laughs> 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 it looks like the wind's changed, so it's, um, it's, it's got stronger and going straight across the screen rather than corner, corner isn't it? So line out here for Lizards, they've been camped in their own red zone for a while now. They try to go to a mall but it's brought down. And the Panthers have it. On attack. They've had a lot of majority of ball and territory. They come to the open. Good dummy. Inside pass. And try scored. Just waiting to see what number that is. Yeah, I reckon it is the hooker that's getting the congratulations. In 15 3 kick to come. Just waiting for the ball to return. I remember seeing a quiz one time and it was a sports quiz. First question on it was what ball is used in wheelchair rugby? And one of the options was no ball. Well, because <laughs> uh, not many sports of rugby um, uh, played without a ball and that one's led, let's go out into touch. It's not bad from the Lizard's point of view though. Not great. It's not great for the Panthers although they do have the line out. We'll contest it 
It's one against the throw here for the Lizards. They've got a hit back before half time, you think? They come to the open. Campbell with it. Ten over for the Panthers. Might not have scored the try, but he's got that turnover. <laughs> As they come to the wing, and it's been knocked on. Both sides guilty of some um, lost position. So <laughs> scum here for the lizards. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes down. <laughs> Look, that's the uh, dip. Scrum reset. Crazy with me. I have big cows in there. It's not whether you're right or not, it's not making people think you're right. Yet. <laughs> I believe you, so two, yeah, two Just had to move off the, um, might be a bit of a loose grass. There, so they moved it infield. Good scrum again for the Panthers here, but Lizards was it still. Everyone out uh, open. Midway 22, 10 metre line, dummies and goes. Good shrug off of one, but uh, the tackler managed to hold on. Now they go open. They're only 12 metres inside the Panthers' half at the moment. Swing it out to our right. That's where they go again. And I've been left behind and knocked on into touch. And it's little mistakes costing both sides. Yeah, the oranges will be interesting. <laughs> and <laughs> as it was knocked into touch, you're given an option of scrum or line out. The way the Panthers scrum has been Fraser, not as surprising that they've opted, opted for the scrum. <laughs> <laughs> Both sides coming into this one with a 9-1-2 nine nine loss record. Uh, the Panthers had the best points against and the Lizards had the best points for. So, not a surprise that uh, the Panthers have scored some points. It's their record this season. Of course, the um, New Zealand rugby lost one of its uh, tall timbers yesterday in the form of um, Tane Norton. Passed away at the age of 81. Played 61 matches for the All Blacks, including 70, uh, 27 tests. Uh, but it started with the Lions in 71 and retired with the Lions in 77. So. Good scrum here from the Panthers. It's a little bit of a worm burner coming. Now to the centre. Good pass and the tackle. And they figure to the fullback. Gets out of the tackle. Player coming across. And it bounces to the Lizards. It's got some work to do to get out of trouble though. And he must just be in the play field of play now. And a relieving kick that'll find touch. And maybe a get out of free jail card use. There, Fraser. Yes. Uh, never like it when you're in your own half, don't you? Or in front of your own horn, basically. So, what do you think of this? 
Yeah. What do you think? About what? The game. Well, the game is pretty good, but Panthers on top at the moment. Yes, Panthers might have won this. It's gone out. We'll just wait to see where the assistant referee sticks his flag up. It is Panthers ball. Yeah, it's just about to say lizards, but um, no, I think if it, if it was lizards, it probably would have been a scrum. So it must be knocked back from the, the lizards. It's been ruled knocked back from the lizards. Referee's closer to it than we are. The Panthers off the top. Now they go into the midfield. And they've wrapped around a couple of times and knocked it on on the odd occasion. The Panthers, the Lizards have it. They're in the midfield. Five metres outside their 22 at the moment. Panthers trying to disrupt the ruck but can't. And they're just trying to creep their way forward. The Lizards. The Panthers have come through and stolen this. It's a switching play. And the referee says, we'll come back and the Panthers have been ruled to knock it on. It's just turned scrappy at them uh, in, in these last few minutes. <laughs> I'm trying to open you up here, Fraser. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. As I said, mate, commentating is, an ex is a confidence thing. The Panthers have really been dominant at the breakdown. So, Lizard Scrum, 7 metres outside the 22, their own 22 that is, they go to the open, to our left I should say, gets out of 1, gets out of 2, 3, and a oh, good tackle in the 4th, and a little bit of push and shove there, after the fact. Well, I don't know, there was, a, there was push and shove in the uh, Warriors game last night. The Warriors player got simmered for it, so, yeah. I think the Titans player was doing the more pushing and he just gave him a hello, yeah, you know, tap. And it's a free kick. Closing the gap, going against the Panthers. Tap it and run. Tap it and run. Yeah, scrum has, Scrum's been going backwards. Um, it's six metres outside the 22. Interestingly enough though, Eden, they have gone with the Scrum. <laughs> it was only a um, free kick option, so kicking directly into touch wasn't an option. Scrum, touch, tap, Well, I mean, you can kick it directly into touch but um yeah <laughs> i've seen worse things on a rugby field i can tell you that <laughs> so scrum here for the lizards 15 meters in from touch five meters out from the opposition 22 they go to the open as it's balls bouncing around a bit been left behind and can't keep it in touch and the Pakaranga substitutions are doing that Stall. we've got about a minute to play in the game in the half sorry good to have your company Bevan Jenkinson Fraser Ward with you, it's off the top, Panthers running with ball strongly, good collision coming in, now to the left, centre shimmies and goes, Lizard's getting over the top, but they're going to concede a penalty, you just didn't quite time it right. 
In the chance to make a few metres here. I still have time and a half. Otherwise the Panthers pro Yeah, I was gonna say otherwise you tap it and kick it into touch. And it's charged down here. But was it still with it? They're towards the sideline, they're just inside their own 22. They'll get a penalty. And straight off the feet is the call. Same, same thing, same thing. Stop getting so technical there, Fraser. <laughs> Still time to play in the half. Yeah, he's just tried to use a bit of an angle, but he but, um, couldn't really. But he's made some good metres. Still a couple of metres inside the half, but they'll have the throw as well. Well, they've won one against the throw, haven't they? I think they've won two, actually. Oh, well, I was going to say, there, there's the two. And it's another free kick for closing the gap. Michael Hall. No, 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 they're closing the gap at line out time. Yeah. Got to keep, keep a clean half a metre. And to be fair, Michael Hall, he's standing at the back in the middle. Tap and go, here you go. Yeah, tap and go. Up and under, the old Gary Owen. There with Panthers. Gets out of one. Still going. I'll come to the right. Trying to spot a gap, he does. The tailor does the captain. And the number four for the Panthers is going to score. And 20 to 7 just on half time, the Panthers lead. So number four for the Panthers, Rory Kavanagh. It's opened up by Jean-Pierre Pukita. 20 to 7, kick to come. 17 uh, 3, sorry, I'll cut my mess completely wrong. So, 22 3, thank you. Someone that's coming to help. Thought they'd put the try on already. Hope you're paying her. Double the price, Sarda. You should have been able to say anything under my breath because you can fucking hear everything. It's just a good break here from the Panthers. And the four breaking out of two tackles. And scored. And it's unconverted, and that is half time. I think he might be right, he's and but he'd be the extra from the feet. Seems to be kicking with both, but hey, he's not doing too bad. And that is half time here, folks. We'll turn the mic off and be back in about five minutes. Second half action. It is the Morris O'Connor Cup under 85 kg's second semi final. Pakaranga Panthers 22, leading Eden Lizard 3. Welcome back to Bell Park here in Pakaranga. 2023 Morris O'Connor Cup semi-final number two. It is the Lizards trailing 22-3 against the Pakaranga Panthers. Bevan Jenkinson and Fraser Ward. Good collision in the year. It was both players going for the ball. Yeah, hopefully both players get up. 
and the lizards still have it. They've got it off the line out. And the ball is thrown out. And a bit of a loose pass there, Fraser. It's been a couple of it was good on the first half and um, it's not a crazy start in the second but it's always a way to get out of the Panthers. I'm going to lie there. Lighthouse was taken by the Panthers, right up the field. It's Panthers with ball now. Looking at some options, gets a pass away, gets out of one, two, got a man in the end, he's got it, and it's a Ford pass, it's a Ford pass. I don't think I'm going to be um, popular here, but I think he's got a Ford out first as well, so. No, I think it's going to say <laughs> There's a lot of comments coming and a lot of looks. I think there was even a couple of players looking up at me too. That it didn't matter anyway because uh, that last pass. So that's second half action here, a couple of minutes gone. And it's a scrum reset. We had one inside the first minute, didn't we? In the uh, first half. Fraser. <laughs> so why not have one in the uh, first minute of the second? Oh, mate. <laughs> How are you? Hello, darling. <laughs> Might be some substitutions on the field for the Lizards. Number 18, Jack Olsen, having had played 16 games. Number 20, Ollie Multerman, as well. And a penalty to Pakaranga. Really been got that. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the second half, it's just really gone. Oh, I mean, there's been a couple of poses that have gone the way of the lizards, but uh, momentum's still swinging with Panthers at the moment. It's hard to dominate the um, <coughs> uh, Panthers line out drive, so uh, this will find out how that goes. Oh, so, um, One here from the Lizards though. 2 1 for the throw, wins against the throw. Halfback has it. Box kick. There's a couple of players trying to charge down but can't. Big collision again. Lizards have got it. So come to the right. Ball's popped out the side there, but pounced on by Lizard still. It's messy at ruck time. They do make a couple of metres inside the half now. So come to the left, kick through. And it's straight out. But they were, yeah, they were under advantage, as you say, Fraser. Offside is the call. <laughs> so a chance here to make some more metres into Pakaranga's half. Um, uh, Ponsonby yeah, finished top. top, so they're currently playing um, Ponsonby, Hoonbay Hustlers because they've got a couple of teams yeah. and they're, now they're currently playing um, Grammar Tech Old Boys. Oh, okay. One here by the Lizards, they go to them all, it's worked for them this season, uh, this game. 
Yeah, not 100% sure. Might have been um, coming in offside. Off the line out. And they'll kick to touch again and make some more metres. Just trying to find out that score between Ponsonby and uh, Grammar Tech as that one goes to a mall again. About 10 metres um, in from touch as it crabs sideways to the right though, more in field. The halfback for the Lizards ordering his troops around. It goes to ground, they're only a couple of metres out. And three penalties in a row, so Pakaranga. Yeah. Maybe a look at cards, do you think? Oh, or a talking no, no. to you, Fraser? I mean, I guess you could, maybe a couple more, but um, it doesn't look like it's slowing down the play too much, so. Maybe if there's another penalty now, then they'll start looking at cards. But. It's a substitution being made for Pakaranga. Not too sure on the number, sorry. Such thing as a clean penalty. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> as the ball goes into a mall again. Yeah, there's an advantage. As the lizards out to the right, and it's been docked on and. Contact, but they'll come back to the penalty. Currently at Cox's Bay Reserve, it is Ponson Bay, Hearn, Hay, Hearn Bay Hustlers 20, leading over the Grammar Tech Old Boys 17. So that game pretty tight. It is a card that's come out. Well, I saw something that's come out flashed up in the air. <coughs> Haven't seen a player move. To the sideline. There's <laughs> <laughs> this one there by the lizards. As it's messy. Looks as though legally this time. So go to the right lizards, try to search for that chalk. Pick and go with the player again. They're only a metre out from the line. So go right. Brought down a great tackle. Pakaranga out there to meet players. Just didn't go, just didn't pass. Halfback looks right, goes left. Two metres out. They come to the left once more, look to the offload, the sunny bull, but doesn't get it away. They come to the right, and it's lost here on the tackle, and the Panthers have it back, so they'll get out of trouble, they'll kick it out of trouble, but it has not gone anywhere near touch. Down there, three metres inside the 22, the Lizards. Halfback appealing for a penalty and, get, and is under advantage. So come to the left, little chip over it. So they are under advantage. And no advantage, so they will come back to it. Yes, five consecutive. Captain getting a talking with at the moment from the Panthers. Just been told by somebody who was having a quick count that um, no, it does look as though it's 15 on 15. As I said, didn't see a player head to the sideline, so. So did I. 
It's still good though. Never while you're umpiring, right, Fraser? <laughs> One here at the back of the line out for the Lizards. And it wasn't straight. <laughs> to be fair, Fraser, it was straight, it was just straight to them. <laughs> Big lead off for the Panthers. As they make a couple of changes, they make a changes here, the Lizards. Fresh legs, always good to see. Yeah! Not 100% sure on that because I read 15 and that's definitely not the 15 we've got on our um, team sheet. <laughs> and just for those of you at home, 15 for Lizards uh, is Brooke Campbell, who's my cousin, so uh, that, that's the reason why I know it wasn't the 15 we've got. <laughs> Redhead as well. So um, yeah, there was a few distinguishing features that said it wasn't wasn't that. I'm glad Fraser, you agree I've got red hair. Ball here, the Panthers running with it in front of their own horns. Couple of meters out from their own line. Still deciding to run it. They've got the scoreboard in their favour. So why not? They made 10 metres though. So just trying to push it forward, almost get done by the um, bird as the lizards have got ball. It's a quick ball, dummies goes through the gap. Doesn't quite make it. And they'll get a penalty. Double blow. And I'm just going to see what number it is because everybody knows there's a card coming. Six in a row. It is the number two. Adams is the player. And it, I think it's just deliberate, uh, just continuous. As we said, six in a row from the Panthers. Yeah, you just need to capitalise on it, don't you? You've been in that 22 for a while now, so. I'll say a good three minutes. Well, Eden won the National Club Cup the first time in 2020, which was only a North Island tournament. The last time Pakaranga won a title, it was the plate final in 2021. Is Eden going to the mall now? It's Nessie again, but I believe it's still with them. And try! Try scored for Lizards. And it's 22 8, kick to come. Not 100% sure on the numbers, there was bodies all over the place there. So I think in commentary terms, a good team try. Sport is so easy when you're watching, isn't it? <laughs> that is not bad, but it just saves the right. So score remain 22-8. Semi-final number two. That was his second shot at goal. That first conversion. Yeah. yeah. 
score tools still 2017 in the other semi final. Ponson B leading that one as it goes into a kick. No, but I mean, five metres is five metres, isn't it? Yes, it is five metres. <laughs> it's, um, you know, I've, I've seen some kicks go forward and then backwards in the wind. <laughs> Usually, those stories that, uh, you, you know, in Fraser with uh, from my own kicking, but <laughs> I didn't do too much of that in my playing days. It's always good to see people play here, though. I played Golden Oldies rugby a couple of weeks ago and I'm still sore. I don't know if it's more shocking or... <laughs> oh, it's a good run here from the Panthers, from the line out. And passes it to his teammate. He's going to make the conversion success, more successful, but... The whistle has gone in back play. Bit of a push and shove. Fraser, thank you. You spotted that first. What was it for, do you believe? Do you know? It was a knock on. Well spotted, Fraser. Well spotted. Because I hadn't noticed. <laughs> it was a good break, nonetheless. It was a very good break. From the Lucy's, too. Yeah, it was from Fords. And that's the thing in this grade, you don't have the, um, you know, the smaller numbers aren't as heavy as the backs, they're generally the same weight. Everyone can run. Everyone's quick. Sort of, yeah, it's good play, right? Time off at the moment, just as a rigid player down the back now. How much is this game in the way? Sorry? Oh, McKenzie. Surely he could play it. He's in his 90s. Oh. I think. I could be wrong. I wouldn't want to. Oh, I love that. I love that. I feel the other take. <laughs> no, I apologise. 81, yep. according to Wikipedia. Um, 90, 90 dripping wet. <laughs> Great to see him at 10 today for the All Blacks. He, um, he's starting at 10. That's good, that's good. Kick off at 2.30, so straight after this, live on Sky Sport. Is Mike, is Mike well placed? <laughs> I think he is, it's, it's actually a really bizarre team, this one. Um, there's no Barretts. No Barretts? No Barretts on the 23. Oh, what? What, even Scott? No. <laughs> Scott, Geordie and Bowden have a week off. Must be a winning. Well, there's a, there's a long way to go in this uh, 2023, and of course, it, Culminates in the World Cup in France, so we look interested to see how Sean Stevenson goes. That's um, the big one. It may not be a great Chiefs fan, but he is—he he deserves to be in that All Blacks team. World Cup squad named on Monday afternoon at about five o'clock, I believe, on the All Blacks socials. And there's three three players from that 36 that were named. Um, a few weeks ago at the start of the Rugby Championship that'll miss out. And you've got TJ Perinara coming back, Brad Weber as well. That you know, um, Yeah, I'd, I'd say Smith you'd still have in there as your number one. Yeah, as Lizards won it from the line out. They'll go to touch and crook him. It's a crossfield kick and it's hung up in the wind. A really old, uh, weird one there. <laughs> yeah, not gained much. <laughs> not gained much from that, but... You could say probably gained 20 metres, but um, a crossfield, nothing... Yes, yeah. <laughs> you know, more lateral than uh, in front. <laughs> so line out here. Seven metres for the inside the lizard's half for the Pakaranga Panthers. There's a ball down the back to the Panthers, off the top. And a run through the middle. Now they go blind. Little grubber through. A worm burner. Eden kicking it into touch. No, they haven't. So it's fired back inside the 22, so he's running it now, the Panthers. 
Now they come blind, another kick downfield, a lot of open field kicking at the moment. And what a win there for the Panthers, praise the Ward. Yeah, quick, in, quick pass in field and that you'd want that again. The Panthers, so Panthers sideline enjoying that. Great to have you company folks wherever you are. Bevan Jenkinson, Fraser Ward with you. Morris O'Connor, 2023, under 85 kg, semi-final number two. In the second half. And it's closing the gap again. You're doing the stats, aren't you, Fraser? The third one, I believe? Yep, third one. Third one, yep. <laughs> Well, let's see if we can get the ball out this time. Love your work, Fraser. Love your work. <laughs> no, well, you learned from what I said earlier. <laughs> oh, the kickers have gone tartan to touch. Pakaranga have it on the halfway line. And running out from their own goal line this time. They're getting in there now at least. Comes to the right. Running ball in hand now. So come right again. Some good tackles being made. Yeah. Yeah, coming to the left. It's squirted out the back though. Cleaned up by the number 20. They'll come left again. A lot of players just hanging off the ball. Now they're for the eight, but uh, yeah, there's a hand in there from Pakaranga. See whether it's a penalty or just a knock on. No, it's a penalty. Deliberate knockdown is the call. Oh, no, it's offside. No, he is still on the sideline, we're being told. <laughs> and Eden trying to make some metres. 23 minutes gone, second half. Don't worry, I got you covered. <laughs> Well, that's what we've got at least. <laughs> so line out here for the lizards when the ball gets retrieved. I get that every day. And one there in the middle of the line out. Oh, good collision. You felt that one, Fraser. <laughs> They've gone sideways. It's just in, just before the halfway at the moment, the Lizards. Breaks out of one. Making some good metres now, though, Lizards. Ball back inside. I come to the right. It's give out passes, but it's fallen for Pakaranga. And player might have been caught a bit high there. And there was a knock on first. Cheers, Patrick. And of course, uh, that, that's actually another thing there, Fraser. Forgotten about the FIFA World Cup. I mean, a little bit of a shame. Um, New Zealand didn't make it through, but it's still a great tournament so far. Still brilliant. Still some really good teams in there. Pakaranga being uh, resorted back to the full complement of 15 players. The yellow card player coming back on. Number 21 for Pakaranga coming on as well. Dylan Campbell having played 64 games for the Panthers. 
Yeah. New players, so you, um, of course it's messy at scrum time. NBC kicked off last night, some wins to Taranaki and uh, Tasman. Waikato play for Southland tomorrow and Auckland play Bay of Plenty both uh, Sunday afternoon games. Of course, the Farah Palmer Cup as well. Waikato currently playing, uh, he might have finished against um, Kenny's Monaco. As Pakaranga have it. And good pass out the back there for Pakaranga. Offloading the tackle for the number six. Tackle! Crunching coming in! Flying! Under advantage though. They go to the right. Out towards the wing. One player on him. Let's him go! And he's through! Wow! What happened there, Fraser Ward? That was Daniel Devane that's gone through for it. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie scored. Okay, they've, they've stitched me up with the numbers again. Happens every week, I tell you. 27 8 kick to come. What an exciting moment Jamie Pedford. Jamie Pedford is the try scorer. Thank you to the videographer for Pakaranga telling us. <laughs> I've seen those big miss though, Fraser. I have seen a few of those big miss. It's a bit like the um, high catch on the boundary. You know, there's too much time for you to think about it. Well, it's too simple, sorry, you know? 29-8. Venue clock says 13 and a half. We've got 12 to go. Just realised that clock's counting down, not up. <laughs> Kane so claimed there by the lizards, uh, by the Panthers, sorry, but it hasn't gone 10. So we'll be scrum up back on halfway. One thing we haven't touched on here, Fraser, I don't know how often you've been here, but Lloyd Ellsmore Park, which Bell Park's part of, amazing venue. There's how Pakaranga um, Cricket Club not around the corner. There is the hockey turf out here as well. Um, there's baseball to the right of top right of screen. If I swivel round, you'll see it over there. Sorry. Yeah, it's an amazing venue. This, um, you know, Lloyd Ellsmore Park here in Pakaranga. Um, World School Sevens tournament is held out here. Generally, every um, every year it's um, uh, usually held after uh, Condor Sevens. And we, you know, there's been teams from the USA, Australia, Canada um, that come over and compete. And, and these are high schools, you know. And some, um, having commentated on a number of those tournaments, um, some excellent display on it. And always a great, uh, great time to come out here, unless I fall over on the knee student. <laughs> yes. Some good and bad memories. It goes eight, nine, nine lost it but it's play on it's gone sideways and shimmies and goes and sorry had far more room than he did <laughs> they say a picture tells a thousand words I think that one told two thousand <laughs> He was stepping about a metre out, out, out of the field of play. <laughs> and the referee's called back something here. 
I think he's come back for that knock on. Yes, I think yeah. I think there's been a late call. And know that the ARs coming in and a big thanks to them helping out. Um, it was late that they came in, so probably not a chance to get mic'd up. <laughs> so it'll be a knock on from uh, Pakaranga and Scrumpy to the lizards. <laughs> and halfway. <laughs> Actually, to be honest, uh, Fraser, I did that so I didn't put my back out, but no, I've actually done my hip now. <laughs> you never did surprise me. Oh, mate, there's a way I find. There's a little grubber in here. Brilliantly claimed by Pakaranga. Oh, definitely, mate. They should sponsor me, I reckon. Kick through. Nobody home to the lizards. And they've just had to kick it out. And it'll be Panthers ball 10 metres from the goal line. <laughs> Just by, you know, putting my leg up so someone could tie my shoelaces for me. Yeah. One here by the Panthers. They can't get it off the top, but now the halfback goes for a dart. There's seven metres out from the line now, Panthers. Looking to pretty much seal this game. Lizards having to do some defensive work. And there's a bit of a high shot coming in, maybe, but no, play on is the call. Referee saw it differently. Another dart around the side of the ruck. One off runner. And just millimetres short of the chalk. Can't use the post anymore. That rule went out a couple of years ago. As they go again and try. Try scored from the Panthers. And it's the number six. Diamond. Diamond is the score, try scorer for the Panthers. And that pretty much will seal their place in the final. I'm actually really amazed that it's blown out this much. I thought, I thought it would be a bit of a close game. We, obviously, in hindsight, I've never watched one of these games before, but, you know, it's... <laughs> well, it's finals footy, and, um, you know, the thing, the things happen when it's, um, clinch moments. There will be a highlights package posted to Bev's Broadcasting later on in the week, as the conversion is successful. If you're not sure, um of Bev's Broadcasting, um, it's the page where this game is being live streamed to. On Facebook. On Facebook. Thank you Fraser, it always seems to help to put that information in. I did, yeah, I did, did give um, your profile the keys last night. You did, and uh, hey look, a big shout out to you mate and others who have put some money into that Give A Little. It really did help. So thank you. Um, link to the Give A Little still there. With a reason why I give a little, why I have a give, give a little set up. Fifteen meters inside the half, at the moment, Pakaranga. I'll go back to the player in the pocket and ask Eden to bring it back from deep. No trouble under the ball. Fires it inside to his supporting player. He kicks it downfield as well. Claimed there by another Pakaranga player, and it's a game of force back coming in. And it's gone out into touch on the full. So for those of you who may be watching the first time, I had my car and gear stolen three weeks ago from One Tree Hill. And just having some issues trying to get myself back on the feet. Um, so there's a, give a link to the Give A Little. You don't have to donate people, folks. Any contribution is... Um, Really helpful and, like it. and appreciated. Yep, share it, like it. If you can't, yeah, yeah. 
There's lizards get it from the line out. Yeah, they're eight metres inside. It's desperate rugby for the lizards. They come to the right now. Good tackle coming in. Now they've come right once more. Some good ground tackles coming in from the Panthers though. And it's a quick pass, but it's a knock on as well. And it just hasn't been the Lizards day today. <laughs> so we scrum here to the Panthers. We still have the score in the other semi-final 2017 to um, Hudson beat Henbay Hustlers. Ooh, nice actually, that, might, that actually might have finished because finished it was a 12 o'clock kickoff, I've just noticed. So, Henbay Hustlers um, look as though they've gone through the final. Both these teams, though, um, after next weekend, go to the National Club Cup, round three. Panthers playing the Morrinsville Pukekos. Having defeated the Hustlers and Eden Lizards by Takapuna Bombers, having defeated the University Slugs in round two. I'll be covering uh, College Rifles Bombers taking on the University Squids on the 19th. Are the Bulldogs in that conference or is that? No, they got beaten. First, they got beaten first round. <laughs> So scrum here, five metres inside the Pakaranga half. Comes to the blind, shimmies, ball inside, kick through, and return kick, but... That one is well out on the on the full. So it'll be a line out back five metres outside the lizards twenty-two. <laughs> Waikato beat County 13-5 in the Farah Palmer Cup to remain undefeated. Yeah, there's some low scoring in that uh, Farah Palmer Cup. As it's off the line out here, some good tackles coming in. And a kick down field from the Lizards. That might be two apiece against the throw, I believe. And it sets out a one tackle. Comes to the left and has to be picked up in the back play. Fends off one. Now out to the right winger, Hennessy. Two metres still inside their half. Now they go open again. Just on halfway at the moment, the Panthers. One off runner again. Marist, look for Marist. More open field for them. Bit of a flat pass. And tackle was fine. Referee Michael Hall is the one closest to us. Now thrown in field. Ducks in and goes into the tackle. They go to their right again. Haven't made too many metres. They might have lost 10 here at the moment, the Panthers. <laughs> yeah, scoreboard definitely in their favour, so forwards or backwards or sideways, it doesn't bother them too much. And it's a knock on. So Lizards will have one more chance to salvage something in this one. Oh, I'll close that gap, but <laughs> it's not looking like there's a bit. 
Uh, Marist lost, Hamilton Marist Bulldogs lost to the University Deck Collectors, who had been in the last two National Club Cup finals. Oh, okay. So they got a bit of a Good afternoon to Ryan Gobrantz and Rory Nethy, um, Marist <laughs> under 85. Bulldogs players, they're probably they, they're a good chance that they could be tuning in as uh, Panthers get a free kick for an early engagement. They'll tap and go, runs it into traffic, which they've not been scared to do today. Now it goes to their left, our right. The momentum is just going all the way to the Panthers at the moment. Fires it off to the right. Lizard's appealing for a penalty. Not giving, not out. Up over the halfway now, now the Panthers. Back into the pocket, kicks it out. And Michael Hall says, Pakaranga Panthers, you are in the final. They did deserve to be in the final, they played incredibly in this game. Um, this is just a little bit underwhelmed with their all handling skills and also just their tactic. But overall, brilliant match and uh, yeah, all the best for the Panthers. Yeah, Panthers will play the Hen possibly Henbei Hustlers next week in the final. Venue to be confirmed about that one due to the situation with Ponsonby Rugby Club. Um, Myself at the moment, I'm heading to Tauranga to cover the Waikato Classics, taking on both Plenty Classics before the NPC game in Tauranga. Um, but yet to be confirmed, if that's not, I think I'll find myself at that final doing something at least. I'll, I'll be doing everything. <laughs> Legally or not, Fraser. Um, big thanks to you mate for your first stint, you've done pretty well. Thank you, Thank you. Yeah, no, th <laughs> it's, it's not always the easiest as, it, as others make it look. So, um, yeah. Big thanks to everyone who's tuned in. If you can, folks, um, feel free to you know share that, um, give a little page, just to help me get back on my feet. It seems like um, insurance might not come through in the end, unfortunately, for my gear. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Um, and also just a bit of cover costs of other stuff. Um, for stuff like today I've done for free, um, of no cost to anybody other than myself. Um, it's all about the community stuff, so to get myself back on the feet and just seeing if more people can give me some help. Anyway folks, take care out there, look after your mental health. Go the All Blacks!